to the Jeezy Reader. I'm your host, Jeezy of Nazareezy. And with me today is special guest, Patricia L. Miller. Hi, Patricia. What's up, Jeezy? Oh, you know how it is. It's a Saturday. It's getting ready to head into September. Where has the year gone already? I don't know. I probably I think smoked it, half of it away. That, that's what I know. You got something to do with that. Yeah, just, you know, just trying to move things along. Um, because that way it gets to my birthday faster. Your birthday is not even in December. Most people don't know that, Patricia. <laughs> you know, the whole well, thing, you know, we, the people hijacked the pagan traditions and then decided that that would be my birthday as well. All right, then. We'll let them have it. Do you know when my birthday was? I don't know, sometime in August or September. Yeah, yeah. It's actually today. The first? Um, no, it's the Oh, it's the thirty first. Yeah. Yeah. So Okay. Happy and, birthday. Well, thank you. Thank you. But we celebrated in December, just like everybody else. Okay. So, um, you wrote a book. We'll just we'll we'll start with the name of the book first, because I really want to let people know all about it. Um, you wrote a book called Yellow Cake Chocolate Frosting. Yes. And it is a love story, um, contemporary love story, not of that Bridgerton kind of stuff. <laughs> um, and tell us a little bit about the book. What is it about? I know I read it and we'll talk about it, but I want it right from the author's mouth. Okay. Well, I had this vision in my head of a series of four girls and they grew up in the orphanage <clears throat> and this is the first book oh. the, the books are going to are detailing how their trauma affected them and Shannon in the first book is she's the most stable one Although you you saw her issues about her self worth oh, yeah. and stuff, um, that she's the most stable one out of the four, uh -oh. <clears throat> and so that's what that's her book, and so I have two more coming, and the second one is more. It, we'll talk about that one later, but okay. Anyway, um, okay, so she's she's the most stable one, and I wanted to show people how even though you can be confident and in, in, in your abilities and stuff like that and, and in yourself you still have doubts about how worthy you are of say uh special love how oh, yeah. how yeah how if you met the love of your life and you're like do I really deserve this is this a joke is this a trick you know so yeah, yeah, she kind it was of fun. Shannon kind of went through it, but well, one thing that I, that I want to talk about. So, so Shannon was um an orphan. She grew up in in an orphanage. Uh, mm -hmm. She has some some traumas that, but she's done very well for herself. I noticed in the forward of the book that you had mentioned that this sort of takes place in an, in a different, I guess, universe slash reality where everybody's yeah. kind of on equal footing. Why was that important yeah. for you? <clears throat> Well, I, I wanted it in an alternate universe because I wanted to just write the way I wanted to write. I wanted the I wanted characters to be how I wanted them to be, how how actually how I wish reality was, that there was no racism, no uh phobias of any kind, no, you know, I mean, I'm not really I don't look at life through rose colored glasses all the time and I know that there's issues in life and there's issues in their universe you know people get yeah, sick yeah, yeah. And, and there's crime and and stuff like that but as far as people relating to each other everybody's just on equal footing you know you you don't look at a person and judge them for what they have or don't have or 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 what they look like or or whatever. And I just wanted, I didn't want to deal with that because we right. deal with that enough on a daily basis. So it was important because you know that some readers could pick it up and be like, there's no way a 
let's just say that a black woman could be that successful and have that many good things happen. Some people would say that, not me, mm -hmm. but some people would, would, would read that and be like, she's just fall, like constantly falling or failing upwards. Um, and that wouldn't happen to, to a black woman raised in an orphanage. But in this universe, everybody's pretty much on the same footing. So that negates that, that worry, that, that conversation, that talking point is off the table and people can just enjoy the story for what it is. Yes. I thought that it worked wonderfully. But she does, the, the main character does really what glance over a lot of glaring, obvious issues. <laughs> Why was she so? Um, the 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 big main love interest was that Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Jackson. So on paper he looked fine. I mean, he looks he, he ticks he, he ticks all the check boxes if you know what I mean. And, yeah. <laughs> um, but there was a lot of things that she really just glanced over. Some some things that there was, you know, should have been red flags, but because she was wearing those rose colored glasses. They just look like flags. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, she relies a lot on her spirituality. Yes. And her she witchcraft. Knew, <laughs> yes. And she knew that her and Jackson had past life connections. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so she was like, this, this is it. I mean, our connection is too strong. Our our passion is too deep. Our connection is 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 beyond the universe. So he also he's had that the one. Yeah, but he also had that connection with a lot of other little hoochie mamas. He did. He did. And and when I was writing Jackson, I I wasn't sure if I was going to let him get his stuff together and be the one. But then I thought, no, that, 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 mm -mm. I oh, need, uh, I need some more. I need something else. Oh yeah. I think everybody's on that struggle bus. When reading this, I thought this could, a lot of people can relate to this. Who hasn't been in a relationship where there's questions and, and you know, relationships are hard and mm -hmm. how much work and effort you want to put into it is how much work and effort you should get back or how much reward you should get back. But, um, yeah. But sometimes people are just broken and there's no saving them and then you just cast them into the pit of hell and never worry about them again. That's right. And she she felt sorry for him too. That, that probably was an issue because especially after she learned about his childhood trauma. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he he was, he really was kind of messed up. Yeah, Jackson's got, I would say he has issues, but I think he has volumes. He has subscriptions, that's what he has. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Jackson. I, ah, I did like him up to a certain point, but you know, she ends up finding her way. Yes. And will we see, Will we see her again? Will we see? I think Jackson might just be a. He had his his time in the light. I don't see that uh, him coming back as a key player. But well, oh no, okay. he's gonna show up again for a minute. Okay. Not nothing, nothing major. But they they they're gonna show up in book two. Just just for a minute. But uh -huh. Shannon is Shannon, of course, is gonna be in book two um, because they're you know she's with her foster sisters more yes yes so yeah but so are, he'll, he'll, were these he'll the women there. were these the women and the, the other women in her group or these are foster sisters or have we not met the other ones yet no you haven't met the other ones yet the okay. only ones i really i really mentioned uh was when she went and got her hair done uh oh oh yeah. yes yes okay that, that was, was one okay okay so you're really taking the romance trope of having like, you know, like like one book for each main character. And at some point, are they all going to come together? Well, they all have. I... It's just going to be like an ongoing thing. Gotcha. gotcha. Because I, I'm, I, I've got like. Two of the girls are going to be in one book together because. The one one girl, her name is Sheridan. 
her issues, I didn't really want to do a whole book on what she's dealing with. Okay. But Mina, who is in book two, which is what the her that's the set, central character. She is the one that's going to take care of everything. And I remember you saying something in, a, in your review about going darker or something. Yes, yes. And, and Mina is definitely going to go darker. Oh, so, okay. So we get to, we get to see a little, a little, are you going to go more of like a thriller route? It, it's, um, it's, it's psychological, but, okay. and I don't want it. Well, you know what, when, when people see the cover, they're going to know what's going on in the book anyway, but it's going to be some killing in that book. Oh, <laughs> my, that's my, my number one commandment. <laughs> so you right you, out of the gate. You'll like that one. Yeah, yeah, that's right up my alley. Yeah. So, I like your 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 your, your top there. You, you, you. You, really, you look like the, the mother of a silent gold dancer. Well, you know, maybe so. <laughs> did you ever, I did wanted you... to I wanted to dress for the interview that I am going to have one day. Yeah. Which will be the Tonight Show. <laughs> so it's not this one. I, I see. You're just, this is practice for you. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Got to practice. Well, it's not this interview. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. So you have, um, I did a little research on you. Uh, you, as well as the last guest, Gerald, you're, you're in Michigan. Yes. And what part of Michigan are you in? I am in Southeast Michigan in a little town called Flint. Oh, oh the water. <laughs> yes. That is the first thing that comes to people's minds. Isn't that a shame that Flint might be known for many other things, but now people are just like, the water? Yes, the water. Oh. But you know... It didn't, it affected, now this is weird because I live in what you call the township. So I'm like basically right down the street from the city line, which is fun. Oh. So our water didn't get affected, but like I have family and so forth, everybody's oh. water. Cause they left our water alone, but the city, that's where they messed up the water. Uh, it's weird. I yeah. Know. How is that going? Is there still ongoing issues or is, that, or is it um, safe? Well, now? there's I they're still trying to get money, as far as I know. Um, yeah. I'll see so, what I can do. I do miracles, so I'll see what I can do. I think you just need to touch the pipes or something and clean them out. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not big on touching pipes. That sort of falls in line with. Well, you don't even have to touch them. You can just say the word and it'll yeah. be done. Yeah. I'll add it to my um my TBM, to be miracled list. Okay. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. It's not that it's not that long of a list. And I, I work through several things and several miracles a day. So okay. I, I'll get there. All right. Um, is is it gonna be like, you know, in a couple of weeks or don't really know. Can't give you a timeline. I don't work on human timelines. It's it's not it's not it's not um you can't comprehend my timeline. Thursday. I'll get it done Thursday. Okay. Woo! Okay. Um so is it is it Michigan where people use their hand to show like like where they are, like in the state, and where, mm -hmm. where, where on the hand is would Flint be? Somewhere right here. In okay, place. okay. That's the way. Everybody from Michigan is just like, well, let me show you on my hand where I'm from. I don't do that though. Oh, but you just did it because I asked. If I only like did it because you asked. What I get is, if I'm out of town, I'll say Michigan. They'll say, oh, Detroit, no. Everybody that Everybody goes right to Detroit. 
is not in Detroit. So I just say about an hour north of Detroit. There you go. And then people are like, eh, okay, because they have no idea mm -hmm. what the layout of the state is. They don't know where Detroit really is. They just know it, but I doubt they could even point it out on a map. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I also read that you made jewelry. I did. I did for a while. I had an Etsy shop and um I sold jewelry at shows. Oh wow. And, was it yeah? What were, were you doing? Were you making your own jewelry? Was it metal? Yes. Yes, oh. I made my own. I it was beaded, you know, and I, I bought the parts um and put them together. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, but it's hard doing that kind of stuff. Just like it's hard doing this kind of stuff when you have a full-time job. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I think that maybe writing is probably a lot easier. And, you know, as you get older, it gets harder to to see and manipulate smaller little objects like beads and stuff. And, you know, you... So what um, you saying? Uh, Jeezy. Uh, uh, Um, you look wonderful. You look, you look beautiful and not old at all. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Ooh. And, and, and you do, you do have a, a, aside from the gray, which I'm sure is very well earned. Oh, well. Sorry, as I got closer, I see it now. You do look a little old. Ah, I was wrong. All righty. I, I wear. I'm not wearing my glasses, so. But yeah, uh -huh. I didn't <clears throat> think you would need any glasses. Well, you would think I would just be able to and, and heal them, but I have um age-related macular degeneration because, believe it or not, I'm I've been around for a long time. And I spent a lot of time in the desert talking about dry eye. Woo! Yeah. And also, I heard that glasses make you look like smart. So even if you're not smart, you should wear a pair of glasses. You know what? You're just making it worse. Because you wear glasses. <laughs> what are you drinking? Are you drinking water? Yes. Hmm. It's not a big old cup of vodka? No, the vodka's over there. Oh, but I, I don't drink. I can turn water into wine, so if you want, I could just just boop, dip my finger in it and boom, wine. And you do drink. I drink new wine, which is just grape juice. <laughs> That's the story I'm sticking to, and maybe a little Henny. Uh. Okay. Or tag it away. Stuff tastes like pine needles. All Ooh. right. I'll let you have that. Yeah. You've been here, you've been here a long time. So, you know. I like Besides, that. drinking is not sinful. Drinking in excess. Yes. Yeah. Do not drink for where it is excess. And that is the line. And it's excessive if you get sloppy drunk and break commandments. Right. It's messed up there, but it's been, you know, I don't, I haven't actually read the Bible, but I lived it, and that's the more important part. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, um, speaking of jewelry, did you know <laughs> that I wore a crown? I don't know who made that one, but they were not good. They made it with thorns. That wasn't a good crown. Why would you even? It was not really my choice. They just kind of pushed it onto my head. Yeah, I I remember. I mean, I remember of the story. Yes. And um, people make jewelry out of me hanging on the cross, which I think is just disgusting. Well, that's some people's comfort. Yeah, well, there's no jewelry of Abraham Lincoln slumped over in the balcony of the theater. That would be tasteless. 
But for me, just stuck him on the cross. <laughs> no, because basically you're not on the cross anymore. Well, Ford's still not a thing. That would be like a little piece of jewelry of a wrecked car with Princess Diana in it. Mm -hmm. And keep going, because I right. know you got some more. I got, I got triggered. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just relax. It. Okay, take a breath. Uh, Do what you learned from Buddha. Buddha is a great guy. Except he won't even kill a spider. He what? Sorry. He won't even are kill a spider. Are you triggered again? I mean, who doesn't kill spiders? Oh. He just, he, he's, he's that. He's like, he sees a spider. He's like, I'm going to scoop it and put it outside. But he doesn't kill it. He doesn't well, believe in killing anything. That's how some people are. And that's good for them. I wouldn't kill it if I was outside. But if it's in my house, right. you know, I have to suck it up with the vacuum. Right. That's the easiest thing to do. Yeah. That way you don't have to touch it. There's no, there's no remains left. <laughs> there's no other bugs that are going to come in. Like the, the bug police. They're not going to come in with their and do a little chalk outline around him. And then you have to sit there and watch. And then they hold you for questioning. And you can't understand what they're saying because they're bugs. And then they arrest you and put you in jail and then take you to the gallows. I really think you probably could get away from the bug police. Oh, you're right. It probably would be very easy. Just a smash up. Or use the vacuum. Or use the vacuum. And then they can all live in the vacuum bag or the vacuum container happily ever after until they die. And don't we all? So, I think we lost the thread here a little bit. I think so. So, anyway, Jackson. Yes. <laughs> Jackson is not coming back except for, for, for a brief cameo and um and all the girls are going to have their own books and um what else do you are are you going to continue to write in this universe yes i have um two more two more of the girls you know being the main characters then i have two more of some new people that are in this universe they're still just floating around in my head but I have two more. Uh, one <clears throat> is going to really be more, not super, super fantasy because I'm not, you know, I, 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 I'm not that kind of writer, but it's going to be, it's going to lean more into some fantastical things. So that's kind of, you created this whole universe, which is great because you can write all kinds of different genres in this universe. You're not mm -hmm. necessarily pigeonholing yourself into just romance. Right. Right, because book two, it, well, book two doesn't have a romantic element, but it's not the main plot point at all. It's um, her, Mina's uh, psychological problems. Yeah. Um, I imagine it can get a little dark, um, mm -hmm. and and that can manifest in some in some pretty scary ways for the for the characters. Yes, I'm I'm really excited to get this one out. I I hope to have it out by the holidays, but we'll see. What is what is it that you want people to take away from your books? Uh, you want obviously you want them to be entertained. Yes, and. Um, it there's I think I always put a little nugget here and there mm -hmm. to you know that somebody can reflect on and maybe they they weren't even thinking about a certain problem or issue but Shannon might say something that will strike that individual as oh yeah there was indeed some 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 nuggets of wisdom buried in there and 
sometimes the character said things that people read who are reading it need to hear or could take maybe they 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 need to hear it and and um that's important there's definitely a lot it's not a flat novel it's definitely three dimensional in the in the in the storytelling and the information it's pretty powerful stuff one thing i did want to point out is the characters do use profanity but not once not nary one single time did they use my dad's name aka me because i am my father as well but didn't use my name in vain you used g-o-t-t-d-a-m and and i really appreciated that oh well i'm glad that you appreciated that I just feel like when you do it with the T, it's harder. And it, it, it is. It's like it's like mm -hmm. putting the T on the end of period, like period. Yes. Yeah, it drives that. It's like, God damn. It just drives that 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 home. I probably shouldn't have said that. And it <laughs> I'm quite sure you are you are forgiven. I forgive myself. Okay. It's sort of As my I thing. forgive you. And I forgive you for, you know. You know. Do I? Oh, no, I was trying to trick you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, let's talk a little bit about if your, if Yellow Cake Chocolate Frosting was turned into a movie, who do you see playing your Shannon and Jackson? You know what? I have no idea. I, I either. Thought... I was trying to. It was. I was trying to picture like contemporary act, actors and actresses, and, and nothing was really coming to me. It. I, I think they will have to be unknown. They would have to be. Yeah. Because I don't see any. I. I don't know anybody. Well, unfortunately, Hollywood's not really just making a lot of roles for 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 black young black women. No, unless, that's, that's and, true. yeah, unless you're Spider Man's girlfriend Zendaya. <laughs> now you know. Oh, I could see her as Mina in my second book because she has that 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 edge to her. Well, no, it's because she she looks she kind of favors the character. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I can't think of of many other because you know Hollywood's just going to do what Hollywood does. They they have three or four black actresses and they just give them roles until they age out, and yep. then you have to wait for Tyler Perry to offer them roles. Yeah, because I I seriously I thought about it and thought about it and I just I can't come up with anybody for Shannon. I can't come up with anybody for Jackson. I can't come up with anybody for Terry. Now, do I, they, do they, in your mind, do they look like they do on, like they came out on the cover? Um, or like who designed your cover? Did, did you do it or did you hire somebody? No, this, I, this girl, I found her on Fiverr. Oh. And she, she lives in Pakistan and I was so upset I forgot to put her name in there but she did my other book oh. other cover I've got the cover done except for the titles and I'm I'm definitely going to give her her credit um on that yeah yeah she probably but yeah not, she no that she's probably not looking she's in Pakistan and doing work on Fiverr she's probably busy so <laughs> right and um I just I was going through because I was like how am I going to afford and you know some master artist to do a cover for me with what I really really want and she like threw that together in like 15 minutes Whoa. I don't know that, what she did uh, I'll probably yeah. get accused of you know what oh probably people can be like that's AI mm-hmm but it's really out of your hands because you had you just paid somebody to do it. It does it's yeah. a great cover. I just was that how you pictured the cake? Did you have any input into what the they should look like, or were you like just? Yeah, I told her that I wanted. Um, they both had to be tall, and I told her I said I need a one with dark hair with blue eyes and 
one with uh, lighter hair with green eyes. And that's who she came up with. And I was like, well, they look great. I'm, I'm not going to spend time going back and forth with, how, you know, how they look, you right, know. Right, right. And I was like, they, they're, they're nice looking. Let's just go with it. Well, it's a great cover. So it sounds like you're kind of stuck with your, 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 your art. So that the covers at least have some continuity, maybe. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No continuity. No, well. No. No. I don't know. My next cover. <laughs> what? I got an itch. Oh, well, you better scratch it. Oh, uh, I did. It was below the camera line. Oh, okay. Uh, the next, the, the next cover doesn't have people on it. Oh. It's, it's, I love it. Now, I've been hearing things about people not having their cover approved for oh. whatever reasons. Um, I'll tell you the, 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 the things that I, that I know, now keep in mind, my book, The Holy Bible, doesn't really have any any fancy images it just says the holy bible sometimes it'll say like women's study version or some other type of thing like that or international men's version or whatever but it's all it's really just a cross and the words the holy bible but i know things that will get you rejected for amazon are sexually explicit covers mm -hmm. um or covers with low image quality um I don't even think AI images get you rejected. As long as the content inside isn't AI generated, you should be fine. Okay, okay. Because there, I'm going to say this, there is a weapon on the cover. Oh. Is it a gun? No. America's cover? Oh, it's a, a knife? A pair of scissors? No, I'm just saying it's a weapon. A fly swatter. It's not a gun. Second. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll, I, I, we I'm so wait. excited. I want to, I really want to show the cover like right now, but I'm, I'm away. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the world premiere of Patricia's cover on this interview. <laughs> no, we no, don't. No, you deny the Lord thy God? Oh. Okay. I really you gave that me was free good. choice. I thought that was going to work and it didn't. I see the error of my ways. Humanity you gave two, me free choice. Yeah, humanity 2.0 is not gonna have that. I learned that right here. Thanks to you. <laughs> I love you, my child. But you, you are love stubborn. me unconditionally. Yes, you are stubborn as the day is long. Is the weapon the fly swatter that your mom used to bring to church to make you stay in line? No. My but mom didn't hit me with a hit fly you, swatter. Hit you, on, hit you on your little chubby baby legs when you were a kid because you were acting up in church? No. A spatula. I didn't hack the... She would just do this look? I was a good baby. Oh. You would think I would know that. Yeah, you're supposed to know everything, so what's up? I'm. So, it's not like I don't have billions of other people to keep my eye on. Maybe... I was in a different church that day. I can't be everywhere, everywhere, all at once, despite what people say. It's a lot. I got two eyes. All right. I don't know. Spider-Man, I don't have spidey senses. You have more than spidey senses. What kind of church did you go to? Where you I don't what, go to was church. It? A what? I don't go to church. Oh. When you were growing up, you didn't get taken off to church. And on, off and on, I went to church. I oh. didn't go to church that much when I was little, little. Oh. But no, I, I'm more of a spiritual person. I don't uh, subscribe to uh, hardcore religion. Oh. So. Don't be sad. I believe in you. Well, that's great. But really. You haven't paid tithes and offerings in ever? Is that why my house is in disrepair? I have nothing to do with nothing. And you know it. How are these 
poor pastors going to fly around in their private jets if you aren't paying your tithes and offerings? They won't be getting it from me. What do people give to these to these prophet preachers? I don't understand. They're like, God wants me to have a plane. I never said that. No one ever said Creflo Dollar needs a private airplane. He even chose the last name Dollar. I should tell you something right there. Or that crazy old white guy in Texas. Woo! Mm -hmm. oh, boy. Just using my name to make an almighty dollar. If you want to send Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people do, unfortunately. And then they sit there and tell their 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 congregation that, that that's what I want. If I wanted Creflo Dollar to fly, I'd put wings on his back <laughs> and make him aerodynamic. But I didn't do either of those things. No, you didn't. Right. But you know what? Don't, don't, don't stop fussing. Uh, yep, take a breath. Uh, oh. Because you know we <laughs> easy. Wake uh, up. Uh, sorry, I'm back. You all right? Yeah, I I I I, I breathed too deeply. Okay. And I got black spots and then I passed out. I'm okay now. Oh you know, good. I don't know. I have no words. So you're in the medical field, in the in the medical industry. Billy? I just work in the office with the paper. Oh, so you do have to do coding and all that stuff? Well, Verifying. I don't code, but I, I do paperwork. Oh, verifying insurance. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Scheduling. So you're at the yeah. desk and you're like, next. <laughs> No, I don't have to deal with patients in person. Oh, who? Yeah. Who is right just over the phone? Could you imagine dealing with sick people? The smell alone. Well, you know what? If you would just do your job, then maybe they wouldn't be sick. They have to come unto me and ask. Come, well, I guess you're right. come unto me and I will give you rest. What's up with your hair? The humidity. I can't do anything with it. I tried a hot oil treatment, didn't work. Tried relaxing it, it didn't work. My hairline is just moving further back. This modern age is horrible. I thought things were bad, but back then, you know, with Judith. But I would give anything. Zero. Get some serum so you can fix that up because... Yeah, it's not very becoming. Right. Looks very flyaway. Static. It makes you seem so stressed out. Well, I am a little stressed out. Why? But I do find it relaxing talking to indie authors. Aww. How long were you right? How long did it take for you to write your first book? You know, that wasn't my first book finished book. Oh, but well, they say every author has one or two books that they wrote and said, nah, this is crap. And then the third one, they're like, this is crap, but I'm going to put it out because I'm tired of not having a book ready. Is that what you did? No. Oh. Damn. This one took me about two months to write the first draft. And then I went over it and went over it. I have a friend that lives in Massachusetts that helped help me edit it. And I went, we went over it and I did. How long was the editing process? So oh you wrote God. it in two months and then how many more months did it take before you were finally ready to Pull the trigger and put it on the on the Amazons. And are you explicitly? Well, this one, this one has a little bit of a story because I 
was querying at first. Oh, yes. Trying to find the traditional publishing agent who would then shop it around to a publisher and so on and so on. Let and you get you. the big check. Yes, the advance. And you can quit your job. Yes. <laughs> And you can be on the New York Times bestsellers list. All those things. But, so I, I queried for a while, nothing. Same old form letters. So I was like, okay, this isn't right because I know this is a good story. So then I hired a professional editor. I had her do a developmental edit. I had her do... Uh, copy and line, edit, everything. So, and you can imagine the cost. Oh yeah, that's a lot of money to put in. It Just was, to try to find an agent. So after all that editing, I was querying again. Querying and querying. Got the same form letters or either I'd get, oh, how charming your story is but it's just not for it's, me right it, now right or, it's not for us because it doesn't have smut whatever yeah so I was so discouraged and I was so I was like this isn't right this just I this doesn't feel right I can't and I did not want to self-publish because I don't have the mindset for the computer part of the stuff oh yeah it's a it's a lot and I didn't know what I was going to do. And finally, I don't know, something just made me go to Fiverr again. And I was just, you know, looking through and, and it was like, we, we publish your book on Amazon. I mean, of course you have to pay, but so what? <laughs> and I was like, what, how come I didn't see this before? So I raised the money. When I say raise the money, prostitution. You I went out raise the money. You went out in the home stroll. <laughs> it's okay. You do what you gotta do. Yeah, I went out on the whole stroll and um got it out there on Amazon, and that's how I'm gonna use the same people I use for the next one too. Um, because You're, I can't. Yeah, I that's can't. a lot easier than than doing. All of it, the, the the editing, the line editing, grammar, creating the covers, typesetting, formatting, yeah. all that stuff. Yes, it's better. You just, just let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Let it be in somebody else's hands. I'm so that's expert. how it ended up on Amazon. And when I started getting my reviews and people were saying it was good and, and I was getting five. And um, although you gave me a four, oh. uh, but um. I appreciate that four because you were honest and it it I still liked it. I still appreciate that four because you you said um because you don't read that genre right. like and that, so you you know. Right, and but, it's not, four, four is, it means I really enjoy, look, the Bible, there are Bibles that have three, two, three and two star reviews. Who gave me a two star review? It's the best selling book in the whole wide world. It's been translated into many, 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 many languages. I know, and it's been translated and translated over the thousands of years. Right. To the and point that some of it doesn't even mean what I originally intended. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of stuff. But anyway, yeah. that's oh. why that's how I ended up on Amazon. And I'm happy with it. And I just, you know, I do wish I had like a big advertising budget. But don't we all, don't we all? I'm just going with going with the flow. Well. There's always more tricks out there for you to get that money. 
Get on the pole. Go for it. You do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna judge. That's not my place. I just need the people to buy my books, you know, because I am unable to strip. Or that everybody should buy but Patricia L. Miller's book so that she can get the money that she needs so that she doesn't have to sit it off and rob a bank. Right. Yeah. Or either you can just give me some good Powerball numbers. Or yes, I could do that because I do know what the Powerball numbers are. Okay. Well, when we get done, then you're going to have to tell me. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll message you. Okay. Because if I put it out here, then people are going to know. Yeah. And then if everybody hits the same Powerball on the same day, then what would happen? You get like $3. Yeah, well, it depends on the up. jackpot. Yeah. It wouldn't even, yeah. it's, the ticket would cost more than your, than, than your winnings. Why? Yeah. Huh. Okay. So what else is coming down the pipe? Are you going to look into maybe in the future audio book? Turning your book into an audio book? Um, you know, I, I am. I'm not sure if I want to do it. I have. You do, I have, have, that, the, you do have that sultry, beautiful voice. Why, thank you. I could listen. I could listen to you read Chuck. Yellow, yellow cake chocolate frosting all day. Well, you know, I used to be on the radio. What? Yeah. <laughs> like, like the real radio? And you would be like, what, what was it? Huh? What's what kind of, what kind of, was it a music station? Yes, it was a college radio station. Oh. I lived in Massachusetts. And I... I was only on there. I've I only did like three or four broadcasts because then I decided to move. So I that was the end of that. But did I they was, make you did they make you the R and B um section? No, I, I did I did the quiet storm. Oh, I don't in know the middle of the night. Oh, with all the slow jams. Yeah, yeah. So that this is the here. remix to ignition, it's hot and fresh out the kitchen, mama. Rolling that body. No, not Pro those probably. Sometimes. Oh, you mean okay, you mean some like back in the well, since you already know I'm old, <laughs> I'm Gen X. Oh, L loud and proud. Oh, so you're at the, the beginning of the Gen X, yes, okay, so. It's one nine six something. <laughs> yes. Okay. 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 Which I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Be this that's you have to learn how to be okay with that because society will tell you 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 know you get the older you get. That Look, sister, my back it's... goes out more than I do. <laughs> I get it. I get it. When, yeah, you, so you have to be okay with that. Look, I, this is my first book, and I will be sixty years old next next year. Damn. <laughs> and and I and I'm I I'm trying to I'm I now I'm not saying that every day is perfect, but you got to be okay with it, and keep going and keep doing what you want to do. You can't give up. Do you want to know how you can tell if you're really old? How? Fall down in the middle of the street. If people <laughs> laugh at you, you're still young. If they run up to you and check on you, you're old. That's how you do it. I, I should go do that. Or, the, or you can ask for the senior discount. And if they don't ask for ID, meh. Did I tr tr do those tests today? I can tell you, you probably don't even need to do the test. I appreciate your honesty. That's what I'm here for. I really can't lie. I try, but mm -hmm. the, the truth just keeps coming out. Mm -hmm. I think there's something in the Bible about the truth. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't remember. 
But if it's in red, mm -hmm. I said it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, at least that's what Matthew and Luke and John said and Mark. Look, they, they weren't even there like as half as much as they make themselves out to be. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny that that they didn't tell my story until I was no longer there to to um sign off on it. Well, they were taking notes. Didn't you watch The Chosen? I don't watch The Chosen. I left it. Okay. I do. I do have a soft spot for um me superstar. You for you it's called Jesus Christ superstar, but mm -hmm. I just I just say me superstar. Mm -hmm. Because it's set to a to a to a great rock soundtrack with some mm -hmm. popping late 60s, early 70s sound. That's great. That's a good show. Yeah. I loved it. The guy that played Peter in the, the 1970s film version of Me Superstar mm -hmm. went on to make adult movies. He did? Yes. I didn't know that. that. Yeah. First, he sings a song in Me Superstar and then goes and does pornography. Hmm. That was, that was a bitter pull of swallow. Look at that. It wasn't even the real Peter. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Yeah, but but Peter, Matthew, especially Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they really didn't, they didn't really get my permission. They waited until I was dead to put the book out. It's sort of like that little Christina Crawford bitch who waited until her mom died to write Monty Dearest. I'm sorry, I'm sure she's a wonderful person. Well, she should have wrote that. Why did you make her act like that? You know, have you watched Mommy Dearest as an adult? Um, you know what? Yeah, rewatch it. Rewatch it as an adult, and all I'm going to say is, you're kind of on Joan's side. I don't know about all that. Because all mean, I can think of is no wire hangers. Yes. No wire hangers. When you're a child, that is terrifying. But as an adult, if you've told your child nine million times no wire hangers, then you go into her closet and there's a wire hanger. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Look, Christina also had her, Joan made Christina a delicious steak for dinner. Cooked perfectly. Rare. A delicious rare steak. And Christina. Oh, no, no. Come on. And then Christina didn't eat it. Don't nobody want that. It has all the vitamins and minerals that are it's and, and nutrition of a delicious rare 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 steak. Raw steak. Steak is meant to be medium rare to rare. No. Well done. What? Well done. No pink. Is that a black people thing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, not all. I don't know. No, you know what? Because I do know somebody that eats it with a little tiny bit of pink. So, but I don't. Uh, well, then you just might as well not even eat steak. Well, I don't hardly, maybe once or twice a year. Because of hypertension? No, just because I don't care about it. Oh. Do you eat pork? I don't really eat that much of that either. Do you eat? Oh, I'm not going to make that mistake again. What else do you have coming down the pipe? Anything, anything, anything outside of your, your books? Your... Um, I am just working on my books. Um. That's it. I'm not do doing you anything have, else. Do you have a name for your next book? Or are you holding that in reserve? Ooh, should I tell it? It's yeah. called Black Jelly Beans. Black Jelly Beans. I love Black Jelly Beans. Although I noticed not a lot of um, chocolate cake or yellow frosting in the first book. Are there going to be Black Jelly Beans in this one? 
Well, I mean, there's there's reference. Yeah, okay. They had they they um she referenced yellow cake and chocolate frosting. She did, but there was no actual chocolate, yellow cake or chocolate frosting. Um, no, and then you know that it's actually a metaphor. I use those in the Bible all the time. Like a parable is a metaphor. No, it's a when metaphor. You, it's when you, when you tell one story and it relates to, to something else. Like it, it, it's a lesson for something. I know what a parable is. But it's metaphorical. I mean, it's... They're not... It's like, it's like hey, gather around. Let me tell you a story. But it's not a real story. It's a metaphorical story. It's so that you can take that story and align it with something else. The the yellow cake and chocolate frosting was symbolism. Oh. Hmm. And what did the black jelly bean symbolism for? Y'all want to know. Oh. I'll find out. It's probably something naughty. Mm -mm, it's, it's some naughty, all right. Oh. Oh. Man, I can't wait. You are going to love this one. When is it coming out? I hope by the holidays. I hope so, too. Me, too, because I am ready. I'm going on a cruise in October. If you didn't put it out before then, that would be even better. That's like it's, four weeks. Maybe I can get an advanced reader's copy. I haven't even gotten the second, no, the third draft done yet. Okay, I'll wait. But I'm I'll gonna remember, have to. I'll remember that on Judgment Day. <laughs> you when, know it's not a Judgment Day. No, I meant I, I mean when, when, when you pass and you stand before me. You know it's not a Judgment Day. Why you keep telling you're people gonna that? Be, you're going to be like, can I get in? And I'm like, mm, at the end of the year. I know you're here now, but you can wait until the end of the year. You're going to have to wait. I still work eight hours a day. You let me hit that Powerball. You going to leave me like this? You just let me hit that Powerball. Fine. But you got to play the win, Patricia. I am. Okay. Go and get your ticket and I'll... Well, I, I'll send you the numbers after after this um after this interview. Okay. Which we're, which we're getting ready to wrap up. Okay. Cool. So before we wrap up, do you have any questions you have for me? Yeah, where are you at? <laughs> like right now? Yeah. I'm, I'm hiding out in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I've never been to Maryland. It's um a lot of allergies. Mm -hmm, that's here too. Okay, okay. Um, it's it's a it's a coastal state, so it's always humid. That's why the hair is a mess. Mm -hmm. And um, the seafood is phenomenal. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know that 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 the whole shellfish thing, but that's that's that's. Old Testament stuff. I'm allergic to that. Uh, do you get a anaphylactic shock? I have. I never went that far, but okay, I, okay, okay. I'm allergic. Okay. Well, um, then you probably shouldn't come to Maryland to eat seafood because it's all shellfish. Well, do you have regular fish? We do, but the, the good stuff is the show. The, the the steamed crabs, oh my God. What? Chef's kiss. Oh. Yeah. Um, and then, then there's all the stuff that's made from the from, from from steamed crabs, like the crab cakes and the um crab soup. And then there's a different kind of crab that you can get down at the on the block. Look. <laughs> I don't want to hear about the shellfish because I only became allergic to it about six or seven years ago. Oh no! So you you had ate shellfish all the way up until six or seven years, and then one day you were like, 
And then got all puffy and itchy? Yes. Oh. And you were like, I, I'll and then at, at, at first you were probably like, well, that, I don't know what that was. And then you had shellfish again, and it happened again. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, oh, it's, it's, it's the, I can't eat shellfish anymore. Yeah, and I went to the doctor and got tested. Oh. Well, Why did so... that happen to me? Um, I work on a give and take system. I gave you this creativeness to write a book, and I had to take shellfish away from you. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, I will. I'll take that. Yes, just just be grateful. All right, I am. Like when I um when I uh oh god who was it um oh I, I, another it's <laughs> it's another author let's just say she was like I want to be an author and I was like okay enjoy your constant yeast infections I won't say her name now why would you do that. It's a, it's it's just a bartering system. Or you could have did something else. I mean, now that was just mean. Look, she's helping keep. The reason why I did that is because right before her prayer, um, the owner of Monistat was like, "We're about to go out of business," and so I figured two birds one stone. She is single handedly keeping Monistat in business now. Now you know. Did you really believe that? No. <laughs> Jeezy. Look, look, it's boring here. This I don't know this new world anymore. So sometimes I like to have fun. And also, her book only sold two copies. So she sold two copies and has an itching and a twitching. That well, then you can fix her up then. Fine. She gave up writing anyway after her two books. So. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, I, we're gonna, I, can't, I can't. We're going to go ahead and, and wrap things up. But yeah, I think that sure. was a wonderful note to wrap things up on. I think that you should always wrap everything up on a on a on a yeast infection. <laughs> Just wrap it up. That means two things. So, Patricia, yes. thank you, thank you for being here and for for seeing through the interview and telling us about your books and all the stuff that you have coming down the pipe and how you're going to send me an advanced reader's copy before any edits or anything so I can enjoy it on my cruise. And ladies and gentlemen watching, I forgot already who next week's guest is, but we'll figure it out. Um, So look for the next episode. Patricia, once again, thank you very much. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye. Bye.